aortic valve is the valve which is between the left ventricle and the aorta so this valve over years over the progression of age this valve can get narrowed so this narrowing of the aortic valve is called aortic stenosis people who have got aortic stenosis the valve will get progressively narrowed and once it reaches a critical number it is called severe aortic stenosis people with severe aortic stenosis especially if they have symptoms tend to have sudden death and more complications this is the reason why people with severe symptomatic aortic stenosis need to have the aortic valve replaced so this procedure is called aortic valve replacement there are no medicines for this narrowed aortic valve because it is a mechanical problem it is not a problem that can be reduced with medicines so if a person needs to have an aortic valve replacement the procedure can be performed either by open heart surgery that is what we call as the surgical aortic valve replacement or saver alternately the procedure can be performed without surgery through the groin that is what we call as the trans catheter aortic valve replacement or TAVR in this TAVR procedure the aortic valve is replaced through the groin similar to that of a angioplasty and stent procedure so once a person has been decided to undergo TAVR procedure then the options would be either to use a balloon expandable valve the second type of valve which is available is a self expanding valve so the taver valves are of two types a balloon expandable valve and a self expanding valve at the moment in india both these types of valves are available by different manufacturers people who have got a balloon expandable valve there are two different manufacturers which are available for the balloon expandable valves the first is by the edwards company where you have got the edwards 3 model of the valve so this is a the first prototype of the balloon expandable valve the alternative one which is manufactured in india is the my valve which is also a balloon expandable valve similar to that of the edwards valve the edwards valve is manufactured in united states the second uh, group of the valves are the self expanding valves in the self expanding valve there is no balloon the valve expands on its own so this is called a self expanding valve and we have got three different manufacturers in our country uh, one is metronic uh, which has got the evolute r and evolute r pro the other group is the sahajanand medical technologies which is the hydra valve and a recently launched valve from abbott group so you got three different varieties of self expanding valves which are available in our country apart from the two variants of the balloon expandable valves of all these valves the valve from the merrill or the my valve is manufactured in our country the rest all have to be imported now let us go to the question of which valve is the best for a taver so many a time when the patient who has been suggested a taver is given an option of a balloon expandable valve or a self expanding valve if we are if one person is going for a balloon expandable valve or a self expandable valve this critical 
a decision can be made based upon the CT scan. Before a TAVR procedure, a CT scan is a mandatory test and it is essential for us to determine which type of the stent is suitable, uh, which type of the stented valve is suitable for that particular person. So, the, so on the CT scan, what do the doctors look at? The doctors look at the uh, aortic valve type, the, the diameter of the aortic valve, the perimeter of the aortic valve. They will look at the peripheral vasculature. They will look at how the aorta is there. They will look at how much calcium is there. What is the location of the calcium? Based upon these things, the type of the TAVR valve is it is a balloon expandable or self expandable and what is the make of the valve also can be sometimes suggested by the doctors. So, there is really little for a patient to choose as far as a balloon expandable or a self expanding valve. But at the same time, if a person wants to get the best valve for the TAVR procedure, then he needs to choose a new generation of valve. A new generation of valve are those valves which have been launched in the last couple of years where the, these valves are superior, smaller profile and their complication rates are low. So, the new generation valves are Sepian 3 and uh, Sepian Ultra from Edwards and you got the Evolute R Pro from Medtronic which are currently available in our country. So, what is the advantage of the new generation of valves? These new generation of valves tend to have a lesser need for pacemaker. The chances for a paravolar leak, a complication of the TAVR procedure is also much less. These valves can be put through small groin um, uh, incision. So, you do not need a very large groin artery to put. And this performance of these valves is much superior compared to the first generation of the transcatheter heart wall therapy. I am sure with this information, you people can choose which is the best valve suited for your patient. There is one more question, which valve is more durable? What is the durability of the TAVR valve? There is lot of misconcept that the surgical valve is long lasting and TAVR valve is short lasting. That answer has been comprehensively ans uh, has been found out from the recent uh, clinical studies published in the last couple of years. So, as we all know, the TAVR is a new therapy. The existence of this therapy is for the past 10 to 12 years. So, we have follow up data from patients of at least 8 to 10 years indicating that the TAVR valve loss as well as to that of a surgical valve that means open heart surgery valve functioning and the TAVR valve were functioning equally at the end of 8 to 10 years in two different studies. Now what is the advantage of TAVR valve or the SAVR valve is people who had a TAVR valve tended to have a larger valve area they tended to have a, a, a valve which is working for at least 10 to 15 years. These patients uh, tended to have a much better quality of life. They did not have, um, uh, they did have a complication rate similar to that of a surgical aortic valve. So, indicating that TAVR is definitely equivalent to that of a surgical valve or in fact maybe more better. The longevity beyond 10 to 12 years at the moment we do not have, but I am sure with the progression of uh, the, the time duration of the TAVR valve, I think the progression of the aortic wall narrowing again is much less.